I've been on a hunt to find good legendary MC manwas and manwas. Some are popular, but I want to focus more on the undiscovered or unpopular series out there that feature a legendary MC. In this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite webtoons and manwas where the MC is a legendary figure, but no one knows his true identity and or he doesn't tell anyone from the beginning. This top 10 list is in no particular order because it's just my opinion. In this video, I will be ranking the best manwas or manwa where the main character is a legendary one among their peers. But nobody knows because they're so famous. The only way people find out that they are a legend is by meeting them face to face and seeing them just how strong they really are. Number 10. Reverse Willen. Jung Woo is stuck in a reincarnation cycle along with his nemesis, Shin Ryong. Ever since he was little, he had a dream. He wanted to become strong enough to conquer Murim. However, things did not always go as he planned, and Shin Ryong defeated him on every occasion. At this point, Ha Jung Woo had been reincarnated five times and was defeated yet again. When he was reincarnated for the sixth time, he was born into the modern world. Being born into the new world of changes, Jung Woo's goal as there is no Murim in the modern world. Yet he continues training in order to defeat Shin Ryong. Ultimately, he prioritizes the goal of becoming stronger to defeat Shin Ryong. While trying to adapt to this modern world where he has a family and goes to a school like a normal person. So far so good. Give it a shot. Number 9. The Great Mage Returns After 4,000 Years This is super underrated and needs more readers. Trust me, it does. This manga has one of the most beautiful art styles and a superb OP. He's also pretty smart. Lucas Trauman was the greatest archmage in history until he was condemned by demigods to spend eternity losing his mind. But 4,000 years later, he's thrust back into this world, into the body of Frey Blake, the weakest, most untalented student at the prestigious Westrode Academy for Mages. After all this time, the world of magic has barely progressed. Could this be the work of a demigod? Determined to find out, Lucas seeks to reach the highest levels of power once again to get his revenge. Number 8. Infinite Apostles and Twelve War Girls If you want to read some manwas or manwa with way OPMC, then this might be one of them. This story is about the strongest single apostle ever looking for his wife. There are a few kinds of strongest existence in the history of the universe. These are the strongest man, the strongest woman, the fastest man, and more. They all have their own realms, but one man stands above them all. That's right, it's the strongest man, Lousy. He is considered one of the first existences to appear in history, and is revered by numerous people as their father and teacher. He is recognized as the strongest existence standing at the top of the world, wealth, Fame? Power? It was not worth mentioning in his eyes. The strongest apostles fled and startled the human continent for the reason. Don't get me wrong, Lao Zi came to look for his future wife. Yes, it's a story about the strongest single apostle ever looking for a wife. Number 7. I am the Sorcerer King. The story sets in a world where monsters appear out of nowhere from the dungeons and attack humanity. Soon, people awaken their hidden abilities and fight back to protect their world. Lee Sung Hu is also a hunter, but a weak one, and he does his hunter job acting as a bait due to her mother's sickness. But one day, he gets heavily injured and remembers his past life. He realizes that he is the sorcerer king in his previous life, and with the past life's knowledge, he brings back his power slowly to become the one to save the world. Even though the story resembles solo leveling in the beginning, it takes a decision and diversion over time. The concepts in both manwas are similar, but here the MC doesn't get his powers from unknown entities. In solo leveling, only the MC gets the ability to level up. But in this manwa, all most of all are the awakened ones, and the awakened hunters get his power. But how are you going to think that there will be a character development, huh? Well. That certainly comes like a cliché, but it doesn't fail to improvise the story. 
Number 6. The Constellation That Returned From Hell Yuan Xiong Choi, the first human ever to become a celestial. He goes after Train in the abyss to stop other celestials and swallowing Earth whole. Will he be able to protect Earth? Interesting concept in world building and a likable MC and nice art style. Woo, checks my boxes. This is probably what comes closest to that unique leveling up story people look for. Honestly, I enjoyed it. It seems like a combination of a few manhwas and I really like the main character. He really reminded me of Goku. Well, did he? Yeah, kinda. A little bit. As far as the story goes, it is a really interesting story that I really started to like. Give it a try. Number 5. The Heavenly Demon Can't Live a Normal Life This one is a great read. The last chapter hit me pretty hard. If you want manhwas with a good story and OPMC, then I suggest this manhwa for you. Heavenly Demon Baek Jung Hyuk opens his eyes as the eldest son of the Dimitri family, known as the Fool of the Dimitri family, pushed over by the second son. The world's opinion is irrelevant. Heavenly Demon No Roman Dimitri cannot live a normal life. OP Heavenly Demon Fantasy, this is the kind of manhwa where the MC is reincarnated, and also the story is hella good. Number 4. Memorize Less people know about this masterpiece, a guy lives through a brutal Essekai world for 10 years where all his friends die. He ends up living as a loner and becoming the strongest player. He uses that power to turn back time to hinder all the death he experienced. In his life, he decides to not be a loner. The art is pretty good and the characters are good. So far it isn't anything special, but definitely isn't bad. It has a good mix of both world building and foreshadowing, alongside making alright use of characters that he is with and previously encountered. Overall, it's more than enough to keep you interested. I also believe this kind of story gets better with time. I'm quite excited to see what direction it goes in next. Having been summoned to the alternate game-like universe of the whole plane 10 years ago by mysterious angelic beings, so Hyun has finally reached the apex of the world. But at what cost? Using his privilege as the apex, Su Hyun invokes the power of Code Zero to the go, to the go, to the go back in the time. Ten years, of course. Ten years and rectify his past, filled with tragedy. Definitely worth a read. Number three, Magic Emperor. I really love the idea of this manhwa, it's about a hella strong demonic practitioner who is reincarnated and is hella OP, the MC is merciless and then, well, very merciless to his enemies, and kind to his allies, yet never fully trusting. The art is amazing and is absolutely addicting of a read. As the Demon King, Yifan Zhou uses his knowledge and power collected over millennia to defeat all foes until the day he is betrayed. In his last breath, the Demon King manages to reincarnate but into the body of a puny young servant. To Yifan's dismay, the servant has a spirit bond with his mistress, Lady Lo. Yifan, now known as Fan, finds himself inexplicably drawn to Lady Lu and links his fate to her with her family. With Lady Lu at his side, will he regain his place as the Demon King? Number 2. Leveling with the Gods This was amazing, it's just released recently. He became stronger, faster than anyone else, but he lost. In the end, there was only despair for Kim Yo Won, and in his last moments, he was given another chance through the sacrifice of his comrade. His fate had not been sealed yet. Returning back to the past, he attempts to climb the tower again with his unmatched talent to fight the ancient evils that threatens to destroy the tower. I really like this manhwa and the story also. Our MC too, he is totally badass and OP. The art style and characters are really, really well made, so I really recommend it. Number 1. Max Level Hero Will Return this was an amazing manhwa, you gotta admit, homies. The story is amazing, the art is just nice, and if you want some manhwas with OPMCs, then I'll suggest this one. Struck by an enemy's arrow, the powerless Prince Davy O'Ravain falls into a coma. His soul travels to a place where the greatest of the great gather, the honorable, fall, the honorable Hall of Heroes. There are a thousand years pass as Davy undergoes excruciating training under their watchful eyes to become a hero too strong for his own good. 
Now back to his timeline and his kingdom, he's wide awake and the enemy is hiding in the king's court better be prepared. The prince they had dismissed is now their biggest threat. Everything was good. The MC is stupidly overpowered, cool, and moves the princess that everyone liked. So give it a try. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make a comment below which one you've seen before and do share your experience. Don't forget to like the video. Do press the bell icon to get notified about the latest videos and news trends. Until then, take care and stay safe.